Today Report. Thanks for joining us today. And we are talking with none other than Todd Horowitz. He is uh, with BubbaTrading.com. Most folks call him Bubba. I'll call him Todd for today, but Todd, a.k.a. Bubba. Thanks for joining us again, and uh, I want to get your thoughts on the livestock trade. Uh, some analysts were pointing out this morning, Todd, that uh, they thought we had put a triple bottom maybe in that uh, cattle market last week. Uh, we did see a bit of a bounce here in the early going this morning on the live cattle and feeders. What do you think is going on here? Well, I think we, I, I do believe there's a bottom in place. You know, I think you could look at it as a triple bottom if you want to go back in time or at least a double bottom. I think the pattern looks pretty good. I think if you look at the fats, I think 117 is going to be a key battleground that we're going to have to watch. I know just before at the break I checked out, I think we're at 117.30. This is going to be a key area. I think we're going higher overall. But again, I wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of a pullback. The one thing we got going for us, I think they're going to catch a, little, a few too many people short coming into this this expiration of the June contract, which could create some action in the back months. But overall, 117 is a key battleground here. I look for higher prices, but if we do dip, I'm, I'm looking for spots to buy. So again, I look for a real nice season here as well. I'm looking to buy this space, and I'm tracking every opportunity, especially after the, the big pukage we had a couple of weeks ago in the cash markets. I think that the bottoms are in, and I, I look for higher prices here. And the same in feeders. They've got a battle in August somewhere around between 145 and 146. Below 145, they'll probably trade one. 140. If they can break out above 146, I think we're going at least to 152 and probably higher from there. Again, I'm very bullish both live and fat, live and feeders in the in the space. I just have to see the right technical action how to go with it. Well, we have the uh, nearby live cattle. Uh, as if we can pull that back up again, I wanted to point out something here to the uh, audience at home. The nearby June live cattle are at 120.72 per hundredweight right now. That is up a dollar two. But the cash cattle, Todd, from what I understand, last Friday uh, actually. Brow 125, so we are still four bucks apart there yet. Yeah, I understand that. But again, remember one thing is, is the cash only really comes into play if you're looking to liquidate. Otherwise, if you're using the futures as a hedge against your position, then you only care about the futures. If you're locking in your price, you really care about the futures market until you liquidate. Because again, just like futures, the cash can go above the future and it can go below the future at certain points. Two weeks ago, we were significantly below. So overall, unless you're selling, the cash market is really not that important to you until you're ready to liquidate out. Tom, good to visit with you again. Thanks for all the help. I appreciate that very much, and uh, Thanks, I'm sure we'll have you back here real soon. I want to take a quick peek here at the lean hog trade before we run out of time. And on the lean hog futures here, this morning, everything higher. June lean hogs up 16 cents at 80.68 per hundred weight. And July is uh, probably your most active contract now. That would be up 50 cents at 81.58 per hundred weight. So they're holding their own. So far, still higher, Christina. New week.